Hello to everyone. First, um, sorry about that. So, I found this kind of reaction of media understanding about archaeology in the archive of regional newspaper in Switzerland. I made my, my master thesis about the presence of archaeology in the regional press during the 20th century. In this context, I collect and analyze more than 1,000 articles. And I observe sometimes these quotes and of surprising reaction from the other people. <coughs> my hypothesis what was no, it's the Sorry. Yeah, My hypothesis was that the origin of this misunderstanding from the public was related to the advent of relative archaeology. Since the 1960s, Switzerland, as other country in Europe, experienced the development of extensive engineering projects. In the weather correction, in Switzerland, and motorway construction. Set to the regulation of archaeology by states and the uh, beginning of the preventive archaeology of war. Contrary to program archaeology, it was necessary to quickly to collect as much uh, data as possible before the women destruction. Does it work? No. <laughs> Sorry. We tried. You are <laughs> We tried. <laughs> yes. I looked in the press archive if you could observe indicator of these changes, changes of primitive archaeology. I'll show you only a few examples of my research. <coughs> there, I list in time which topic were covered by article. So I observed that before the the 1960s, there were not a lot of excavation as an organized excavation, but many, many, many fortuitous discovery. It's in orange in the graph. Um, but after, it's mostly excavation, so organized excavation by professional archaeologists. I construed that as the testimony that archaeology has been formalized and organized during this period. And that big archaeological projects have been carried out. I also observed that press starts to indicate often the status of archaeologists as professional or amateur or students. It's a testimony for me of the professionalization and the proof of the will uh, from the archaeologist to affirm the professionalization. We noticed also the appearance of a, a, a recurrent terminology to talk about, about archaeology. This expression is in French, full systematic or systematic excavation. It's not uh, a lot of name in, in this expression, but it's apparent a lot. Uh, you can see in the, the decade since the uh, 1960s. Um, and it's about approximately at the, at the same time as well. We suppose that it's because archaeologists use it a lot uh, for speaking from their, their job, uh, and that journalists wrote it often uh, in the, the article. And the uh, <coughs> example I want to share with you is, uh, is about the picture that illustrates uh, the, the press article. We observe that archaeology is often shown in the context of a construction site. The link with the world of construction, specifically the primitive archaeology, is very close. We have the impression, for example, in this picture, that there is no border between archaeological work, archaeological excavation, and the construction sites. So, so why this misunderstanding? Why uh, I have to observe the reaction of this misunderstanding concerning archaeology? The change of preventive archaeology about the practice 
of the discipline have been shown in the local press in various ways. So why did the public not understand the new component of archaeologists? In fact, the concept of volunteer archaeology never occurred in the article of the local press I, I, I observed. We never found any explanation about the nature and the goal of volunteer archaeology. In the regional press, the goal of archaeology, <coughs> archaeology is always presented on, as discover, protect, and preserve remains and heritage. While the main world is that it was allowed to collect data for the planned destruction of women. So we don't find we didn't find a distinction between program archaeology and productive archaeology in the press. So local press trans transmits the advent of new metal process and organization of archaeology, but fundamentally what's transformed archaeological practice and work, the paradigmatic change uh, of preventive archaeology was never presented and explain in the regional newspaper uh, in the 20th century. The public has not been synthetized uh, in the press about uh, the overturning <coughs> of the principle of archaeological practice in which remains the destruction take place. So we suggest that this absence of explanation is mainly due to an embarrassment uh, of the archaeologists themselves with their new goal. They say it's silent with the uh, journalist about that. So in this, uh, in this session, I would like to emphasize and conclude uh, by saying that the way in which we, as archaeologists, see and consider our discipline uh, is crucial in communicating with the public, regardless of the kind of media, whether it's traditional, like newspaper or new, uh, like the uh, so thank you for your attention and have a nice afternoon.